Hi guys! Welcome sa Engie Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang factoring polynomials. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so meron na akong series of videos about multiplication of polynomials. So ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin ay ang opposite nito, which is yung factoring polynomials, which is ia-undo natin yung multiplication. But instead, impa-factor out natin yung polynomials. Okay? So let's start with the first case of factoring, which is factoring common monomial. Okay, from the word itself, if a factor daw natin doon sa given polynomial, yung common monomial factor sa kanila. So, iisa-isahin natin yung bawat terms and then hahanapin natin yung common factor dun sa bawat terms. Okay? So, pag magpa-factor tayo ng polynomial using common monomial factoring, tingnan muna natin yung mga numbers. So, let's start with the first example. So, we have 3, 9, and negative 6, right? So, kapag magpa-factor tayo ng common monomial, check natin yung mga constants kung ano yung GCF nila. So, ano yung uh, common na factor noong mga constants or numerical coefficients ng bawat term na pwede silang ma-divide exactly. Ano yung highest factor? So, sa 3, 9, tsaka negative 6, ano yun? 3, di ba? Kasi yung 9, pwede ma-divide sa 3, and then yung 6, pwede ma-divide sa 3. Okay? So, therefore, yun yung magiging constant common monomial factor ng polynomial na to. So, sulat, sulat muna natin sa gilid ay 3. And then, dun sa bawat variable, so we have x, y, literal coefficients, right? So, anyway, kapag mag-factor kayo, either constant or variable, dapat common yun sa lahat ng terms sa polynomial. So, kung merong isa na hindi naging common factor, ay hindi siya magiging considered common monomial factor ng whole polynomials. So, since nga meron tayo pareho dito na x, 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 saka y, 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 automatic magkakaroon tayo ng common monomial factor with base x. So, susot natin yon x, okay? And then, kapag kinoconsider natin yung literal coefficient sa variable, hinahanap natin yung pinakamaliit na, na exponent na nag-appear doon sa bawat term. So, sa x, ano yung pinakamaliit na exponent? Diba 2? So, therefore, yun yung magiging exponent ng common monomial factor natin. So, sulat natin ay 2. And then, for the y, common sila pareho sa tatlo, so meron tayong common monomial factor na y. So, hanapin din natin yung pinakamaliit na exponent na nag-appear doon sa base na y, which is... 3, right? So, therefore, ang common monomial factor natin for y ay y cube. Okay. So, therefore, ito yung magiging common monomial factor na ipa-factor out natin dito sa polynomial na to. Okay? So, para magawa yun, i-divide natin yung bawat term na to, yung tatlong term na to, doon sa common monomial factor nila. So, parang 3x squared y to the 4 divided by 3x squared y cube. So, pag ginawa natin yun, Again, close tayo ng parenthesis, okay? So, for the first term, meron tayong, pag dinivide natin, anong, mag, anong matitira? Itong 3 makakancel, and then itong x squared makakancel din, and then itong y to the 4 divided by y cube, matitira yung isang y. So, therefore, meron tayong remaining y factor para dun sa first term. And then dun sa 9x cubed y cubed. So, di-divide natin ito dito sa 3x squared y cubed. So, sa 9 divided by 3, meron tayong positive 3. x cubed divided by x squared, meron tayong x. Then, y cubed divided by y cubed, so 1 na lang. So, therefore, meron tayong plus 3x. So, ina-apply ko lang doon yung law of exponent na division na natunong na natin sa pag kapag nag-divide tayo ng same base, may na-minus natin. And then, dito sa negative 6x to the 5, y to the 5, divide din natin dito. So, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Then, sa x, we have x to the 5 divided by x squared, so x cubed. Then, y to the 5 divided by y cubed, which is equal to y squared. Oh, so, therefore, ito na yung factored form natin. Okay? Or, meron tayong other shortcut para hindi na natin gawin yung division. Check nyo na lang kung ano yung i-add natin exponent dun sa bawat literal coefficient para mag-total doon sa given polynomial na ipa-factor natin. So, halimbawa, dito sa x squared, di ba na-factor mo na yung x squared? So, therefore, wala ka ng x. So, therefore, 1 na lang siya dito. And then, dun sa y, di ba meron kang 4, tapos meron kang factor na 3. So, therefore, ilan pang y ang kailangan mo para 
maging y to the fourth. So, isa to. So, parang ito yun, y to the fourth or y to the first power. Para yung sum nung 3 tsaka 1 ay 4. Okay? Then, dun sa number, sa constant, yun yun, yun di-divide mo talaga yun sa numerical coefficient. So, 3 divided by 3, so 1. Okay? And then, same dito sa 3x. Diba yung 9 divided by 3 is 3, so yun yung 3. And then, sa x, so, na-factor mo na yung 2 sa x, and then, kailangan mo ng exponent na 3. So, therefore, meron ka pang kailangan na 1 exponent dun sa x. So, kaya, x to the first power or x na lang. Sa y, so, na-factor out mo na completely yung y cube. So, wala ka ng y. So, y na lang. 1 na lang yun. Okay? So, kaya wala na tayong y dito. Same dun sa negative 6. x to the 5, y to the 5. So, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. And then, dun sa x, since meron kang factor na 2, kailangan mo ng 5 na exponent. So, meron ka pang matitira na 3. Sa y din, kailangan mo ng 5. So, factor at mo yung 3, meron ka pang matitira na 2. So, therefore, x cubed y squared. Okay? So, ganun lang mag-factor. Okay? Okay, for the second example, we have 15a to the 4th, b to the 5th, c cubed, minus 25a cubed, b squared, c squared, minus 10a cubed, b c, plus 5a squared, b squared, c to the 4th. Okay, hanapin natin yung common monomial factor. So, sa constant, ano yung GCF ng mga numbers? So, obviously, 5, right? So, we have 5. Sa a, meron tayo yung nakamalit na exponent na 2. Okay, so, therefore, we have a squared. Sa b, Mayroon tayong pinakamalit na exponent na 1. So, ito, ba? So, therefore, we have 1. Tapos, sa C, mayroon tayong pinakamalit na exponent na 1 din. So, dito. So, therefore, we have C. Okay? So, therefore, the common monomial factor is 5A squared BC. Okay? And then, let's enclose parentheses. So, dun sa first term, we have 15 divided by 5 is positive 3. And then, dun sa A squared, we have a to the 4th. So, finactor out natin yung a squared. So, therefore, meron pa tayong a squared. Okay? Sa b, finactor out natin yung b and meron tayong b to the 5th. So, meron pa tayong b to the 4th. Okay? Sa c, finactor out natin yung c and meron tayong c cubed. So, therefore, meron pa tayong c squared. Okay? Then, sa next term, negative 25 divided by 5 is negative 5. So, for a, na factor out yung 2. So, meron pa tayong 3. So, meron pa tayong 1. Or kahit wala na yan, ba? Sa B, meron na tayong factor out na B and meron tayong exponent na 2. So, kailangan pa natin ng 1. Or kahit hindi na natin sulat. So, B. Sa C, meron tayong factor out na 1 at meron tayong exponent na 2. So, kailangan pa natin ng 1. So, C raised to 1. Or di na natin isusulat. Okay? Next term, negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Okay? For A, we have Na factor out na natin yung 2 at meron tayong 3 so kailangan pa natin ng isa. So a to the first power, okay? Sa b, factor out natin yung b and then kailangan lang natin ng b. So therefore wala na tayong matitira. So parang 1 na lang yung b, okay? Sa c, ganun din. Factor out na natin yung c at meron lang tayong c raised to the first power so parang wala nang matitira. So therefore we have negative 2a. Okay, for the last term we have 5 divided by 5 is positive 1. So, plus 1. Or kahit hindi na natin isulat. Kasi sa algebra naman ganun, ba? Tapos sa A, meron tayong factor out na A squared. Tapos meron lang tayong A squared. So, therefore, parang mawawala na yung A. Okay? Sa B, meron tayong factor out na B. And then, meron tayong exponent na 2. So, kailangan pa natin ng isang B. So, we have B. Sa C, factor out na natin yung C. At meron tayong C to the fourth. So, kailangan pa natin ng C cube. Okay? So, therefore, this is the final answer. For the next example, we have 3m to the 5th, n squared, o to the 5th, minus 24m squared, n cubed, o to the 4th, plus 10m to the 7th, n to the 5th. Okay, so, let's try to find first the GCF of the constant. So, we have 3, 24, and 10. Okay, so, napansin nyo, wala silang common factor kasi hindi naman sila pwedeng ma-divide sa isang number exactly. Yung, yung 3, 24, tsaka 10, tsaka 10. Therefore, wala silang constant GCF. Okay? Sa M, pare-pare ba silang may M? Okay. So, therefore, meron tayong magiging common, mon common monomial factor na M. Hanapin natin yung lowest exponent. Ano yun? Itong 2, ba So, therefore, we have M squared. For N, so, check natin kung lahat may N. N, N, N. Okay, so meron. So, therefore, meron tayong magiging common monomial factor with base N. And then, hanapin natin yung lowest exponent. Ano yung lowest exponent? Itong 2, right? So, therefore, 
we will write n squared. How about for O? So, check natin kung lahat sila may O. Meron, meron, wala. So, gaya nung sinabi ko, kapag merong hindi naging common dun sa bawat term sa polynomial, hindi yun magiging common monomial ng whole polynomial. So, therefore, wala tayong common monomial factor na O kasi wala yung O dito sa last term. So, therefore, ito lang yung magiging common monomial factor natin. Okay, so, let's write down parenthesis. So, divide natin to or 3 divided by 1 is 3 pa rin. Dun sa M, meron tayong 5 and then na-factor out yung 2 sa so meron tayong 3. Sa N, pinactor out natin yung 2 tapos meron lang tayong 2 na exponents so therefore wala na. So, delete na pala natin to. Okay? Then dun sa O, copy lang natin. Okay? Dun sa second term, 24 divided by 1 is negative 24 pa rin. Sa M, Pinactor out na natin yung m squared at meron lang tayong m squared so parang 1 na lang yon Sa n, okay, pinactor out natin yung 2 and then meron tayong exponent na 3 so therefore meron pa tayong dapat isang n. So, n raised to 1 or n. And then dun sa o, copy lang natin yung o to the 4. Then dun sa last term, 10 divided by 1 is simply 10. Then dun sa m, we have na factor out yung 2 and then meron pa tayong 7 exponents so kailangan natin ng 5. Okay. Dun sa n, na-factor out natin yung n squared at meron tayong exponent na 5. So, kailangan pa natin ng exponent na 3. Okay. So, therefore, this is the factored form. Okay. This time, we will try to factor the second case, which is factoring quadratic trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is equal to 1. So, therefore, ano siya? Quadratic trinomial. So, therefore, meron tayong highest exponent na 2. And this time, yung numerical coefficient daw nung x squared, which is a, ay dapat 1 lang. Kasi meron din tayong case kung saan yung numerical coefficient nung a natin ay hindi 1, which is higher than 1. Pwedeng 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. and so on. As long as hindi 1 yung magiging numerical coefficient nung a. Ibang case yun. So, sa next video ko na lang ituturo yon. So, this time, solve natin yung first example. So, x squared plus 7x minus 18. Okay, so pag mapafactor tayo ng quadratic trinomial with a nga 1 or yung x squared natin ay may numerical coefficient na 1, ang gagawin lang natin, uh, list natin yung factors nung constant. So, negative 18, okay? Tapos, hanapin, dun sa, hanapin natin dun sa factors na nalist natin doon sa last term, yung pag in natin sila, dapat ang sagot ay yung numerical coefficient nung second term, which is positive 7. So, lista natin. So, ano-ano ba yung mga factors ng negative 18? So, dahil negative siya, pwede tayong magkaroon ng isang positive tsaka isang negative na factor. Para negative times positive is negative, right? So, ano yon Pwedeng 9 times negative 2, right? Or negative 9 times 2. Okay? Ano pa? Pwedeng 6 times negative 3 or negative 6 times 3. So, pwede ring 18 times 1. Negative 18 and or sorry, neg 18 times negative 1 or negative 18 times 1. Okay, so mern pa ba? So walana. So lahat ng to, ito yung magiging factors noong negative 18, right? Like for example, 9 times negative 2, negative 18. Same as negative 9 times 2, negative 18. 6 times negative 3, negative 18, and so on. So ngayon sabi ko, kapag nalis na natin yung mga factors. Noong last term o yung constant term na negative 18, hanapin naman natin doon kung ano yung sum ay kung ano yung magiging sum na equal doon sa numerical coefficient ng second term. This time, ang numerical coefficient ng second term natin ay 7 kasi positive 7x. So ano-ano yung sa factors ng negative 18 pag inad natin ay positive 7. Ito, try natin yung 9 plus negative 2. Okay, so 7 agad. Positive 7, right? So, therefore, ito na yung magiging pipiliin nating combination dun sa factors ng negative 18. So, gagawin lang natin, sulat tayong dalawang parenthesis. So, x, x dun sa una. And then, kung ano yung factors nung negative 18 na napili natin. So, this time, you have positive 9 and negative 2. So, sulat lang natin, positive 9 and negative 2. So, therefore, ito yung factors nung x squared plus 7x minus 18 x plus 9 times x minus 2. So, pag-check natin, i-form nyo lang. So, x squared 
negative 2x plus 9x minus 18. So therefore, x squared plus 7x minus 18. So therefore, correct yung factor natin. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have x squared minus 11x plus 30. Okay, so isip ulit tayo ng mga factors ng 30, positive 30, na kapag ined natin ay negative 11. So list muna natin yun. So ano yun? Pwedeng 15 times 2. Or pwede ring negative 15 times negative 2, right? Kasi negative times negative is positive. Ano pa? Pwedeng negative 6 times negative 5 or positive 6 times positive 5. Pwede ring negative 30 times negative 1 or 30 times 1. So, ano pa? Okay, so I think yan lang, no? So, ngayon, hanapin natin ngayon dito sa mga factors na to, yung pag in natin ay equal sa, sa negative 11. So, ano yun? Obviously, ito, di ba? Yung negative 6 plus negative 5 is negative 11. So, therefore, ito yung pair na pipilian natin dun sa magiging factored form. So, we have, sulat ulit tayo ng dalawang parentheses and then xx and then we have negative 6, then negative 5. Okay, so ito yun, di ba? So, therefore, our final answer is x minus 6 times x minus 5. Okay? If follow nyo lang para ma-check kung tama yung sagot nyo. Which is, pag final natin, obviously, tama naman, di ba? Okay? Next, we have x squared plus 15x plus 50. Okay? okay. So, list ulit natin yung mga factors ng positive 50 na magsasum up sa positive 15. So, ano na yun? So, we have 25 times 2, right? Ano pa? Pwedeng negative 25 times negative 2 din. 50 times 1, negative 50 times negative 1. Ano pa? Pwedeng 5 times 10 or negative 5 times negative 10. Okay, so wala na. So ngayon, check ulit natin kung ano yung pag-inad natin equal siya sa positive 15. Obviously, ito, di ba, yung positive 5 tsaka positive 10. So therefore, the factored form is, sulat tayo ng parenthesis, dalawa. So, x tsaka x plus 5 plus 10. Okay, so therefore, the factored form is x plus 5 times x plus 10. Okay, so madali lang talaga mag-factor ng quadratic trinomial with the numerical coefficient of x squared as 1. So, parang apply nyo lang yung ganitong concept. Isip kayo ng factor ng last term or yung constant na mag a doon sa numerical coefficient ng second term. Okay, so that's it for this topic. So, sana ay may Natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.